Hey there YouTube, so it's me again Yogesh and today I'm going to show you how to flash your device Sony Xperia U from Gingerbread or ICS to Jollibee and for this I hope that you know how to use the flash tool a little bit and have watched my previous videos on routing the Sony Xperia devices for you can root any this the Xperia device from the flash tool and how to install the flash tool drivers so I hope you have watched all these videos and have a little knowledge of using flash tool or if you don't you can just follow my instruction in this video and you have to download all these links in the description the Jellybean kernel the firmware the stock ROM the Jellybean and the flash tool if you already have it you don't need to download it so first we you should be have you should have downloaded this the firmware the firmware here when you download it here it will be going into your download folder here but you have to move it to local disk flash tool and again firmware here so this is the one I have downloaded and this is the one that you will be using for flashing your phone and for the other download you will be needing the kernel for the kernel and the stock ROM for Jolly. So you'll be needing these three things. And firstly, you have to move this office unofficial stock gel bean to your phone that is the internal storage. You just copy it and paste it in. So I have already moved the ROM stock ROM solving to my phone and I want to have to move it too. You just copy it and paste it in your internal storage. That's all you have to do. Once you have done that, you just turn off the phone. You can delete it if you want, but make sure it is in your internal storage of your phone. So first after doing this, you turn off your phone, power it off, and you choose which flash tool you'll be using, the 32 bit or the 64 bit. This depends on your computer system, either the 32 bit or 64 bit. Mine is a 32 bit, so I'm going to use this one. So, the flash tool will be up any minute now. So it's a synchronizing device from GitHub. This you don't have to worry about it. It says that every time you just start it. So just wait for it until it's finished. Up, you see here the time. So it takes at least from zero ninety six seven seven. So you can say it takes twenty six seconds at least. So First, don't connect the phone, you just turn off the phone and keep it beside you. You go to the flash icon here, flash device, and you click on the flash mode and press OK. And you see, source for C flash tool firmware. So make sure you have moved your firmware that you have downloaded to this place so you can get it here, the one that you'll be using. And Make sure it's just wipe the cache and wipe data and not wipe apps log. If apps log is detected, you uncheck it. Okay? And you don't have to check anything here. And check no final verification. This should be checked. Okay? So then you click flash. It will say preparing files for flashing. You wait until it have prepared it. So yeah, it will be up any minute now. It's still saying preparing files for flashing. I'm, I see it's. Let me see. Now it says unplug the device, power it off, which we have already done. You press the back button and plug the USB cable at the same time but you should be careful 
for some devices you should not press the back button because there is no back button it is uh, the captive touch back is a captive touch and it won't work so what you have to do in this case just like the Sony Xperia U you have to press volume down and connect the phone at the same time then you see your LED bar lighting up green and automatically the other window will close and it will start flashing like this so you wait for it for flashing and you'll see in the background it's a device setup and you just leave it in device setup you won't say anything so you wait until it flashes So you'll see it's finishing the flash, so it won't take much time now. You see flashing meter, and you see the time. It's taken from nine ten to nine twelve, so it's just two minutes. And you and you always say one. This file is non SIM lock type, and you should be aware that this is for the SIM lock, and it's good that it is in blue. So now you unplug the device once again, and you see the device is connected. And then you press the volume up this time, volume up and connect the plug, the USB cable at the same time. And your LED bar should be lighting into blue. And this, the flash tool, should say device connected in fast mode. And this time you click here again on the flash device. And you click on the fast boot mode. Click OK. And you select kernel flash. Okay, now I have to find my kernel and I just save it and download the work here. So I have extracted the kernel from the WinRAR file and it is here now. But I don't stop. And you won't see anything, it says no item match research. Then you have to see here, it is dot sign. You don't need that. You just click on the drop box, you need dot ELF. And here you find a kernel ELF. Open. And this one you click it, it's already done in the background. You can see here. I haven't even closed it, just I'm going to choose the kernel instead. See, it's a writing root and everything's complete. It should say flash operation complete. Okay, it should say flash is how already the kernel has already flashed. As I told you, just put this here back. Just click on reboot device into system and you unplug the phone so once you have installed the kernel you finished with the firmware and you have flashed the kernel on it and just I show you to play pr press the button of reboot into system now you just press the volume up to go into bootloader because we need to go to the bootloader that is a clockwork mode recovery Just keep pressing it. So just keep pressing it. It'll show again, Sony. Just keep pressing it again and again and again and again. Keep pressing, pressing, pressing. You go into clockwork. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Into clockwork mode recovery. That is the bootloader. And I know you won't be seeing good, great stuff. I'm just gonna focus the camera. Give me a second, I'll focus the camera for you. Look, I know you can't see much things because it is very flu on the screen of the mobile. Just know that the first thing you have to do is go to wipe data, that is factory reset. And you just press the power button to select. You can use these buttons to move up, down, 
and this one to select and this one to back but I prefer using this this one for back down up and select select so just select factory reset click yes go to yes it'll be factory reset wipe data and cache once the factory reset will be over it'll take you back so then you just go to below it the wipe cache partition and you select and just click yes again and you wait until it's finished and it's finished then you go to advanced you go to advanced select and you see there will be wipe dalvik cache that is the second one the second wipe wipe dalvik cache and you select wipe dalvik cache and yes and once it's over you press back this the button here press back okay Sh then it will show you install zip from SD card so you go to install zip from SD card and select then you select on the first one itself select again then you go until you see here the last one it says unofficial stock ROM that is a stock ROM that I put the, for the jelly bean I put on my internal storage so I just go there and I select it and I click yes so now it's installing it is installing the stock ROM that is jelly bean on the phone wait until it's finished it won't take too much time in fact it's just 30 seconds and I'm gonna forward it for you I'm gonna forward the 30 seconds I'm gonna forward the 30 seconds to make it look faster because I, I can't afford 30 seconds in my video. So, the 30 seconds will be nearly over. It just take uh, some more time for it. Now you just can see that the phone the phone is booting just after you have click uh, reboot system now so it's booting like this Now you see that the phone has booted up and it's gonna say which language you want. It's all white but I can see and I'm look it's uh, you can see now you can see it you see yeah you see it here I'm gonna take English United Kingdom. I'm gonna take English United Kingdom, yeah. I took in internet in Kigum, then I click done. Then you go next. Go you read everything, then you go next. And your phone is already in Jalabin. Just slide this down like this here. And you see settings here. Settings. 
so I skip the setup part and I manage to get here to settings just go down 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 about phone so we're in about phone the settings yeah let's go to you see Android version you can read from here now it's Android version 4.1.2 Beautiful Xperia team in the back. And here the jewel bean. And you go. Yeah. Here you go. Jewel bean. Jewel bean on your phone. And as you can see your phone is now already rooted mine also stays rooted even if I had the firmware on because on my previous video I already rooted the phone and even you if you have already rooted your phone in gingerbread or ICS the root will stay even if you have flashed it to Jellybean so enjoy your phone in Jellybean Android version and like and subscribe